Hey guys, so I got the Stifler's subframe connectors for my O3 Cobra. They're pretty nice. Stifler's does some pretty awesome stuff. Here's just like the instructions on how to install it. It's pretty straightforward though. Um, but yeah, so I got just the subframe connectors, as you can see, the other ones underneath this. Uh, they also have like a jacking rail, which gets welded under the car, like right inside where the side skirt is. And then they have like a web bracing, which will go from this, also gets welded. It'll get welded from here, like in a kind of like a zigzag pattern almost, like a web, that's why it's called a web bracing. Um, between, on each side it'll get welded between the subframe connector uh, and to the jacking rails. It'll make the car extremely stiff. I don't remember exactly what the whole kit cost. It's on their website, Late Model Restoration's website. It's, I think American Muscle sells it. Check it out. Um, but yeah, I went with just the subframe connectors. I just didn't want to spend that much money right now. Um, it's best to do it all at once if you're going to do it, but you can add the other parts in the future. Um, so yeah, I went with just the subframe connectors. These were a little north of $200. Comes with the subframe connectors, just like anything, you know, subframe connectors, jacking rails, no matter what, when you buy it from Stifler's, they pre-coat it for you so with like so it doesn't rust or anything but the areas where you got to weld they leave them masked off so you don't got to grind them or anything so that's bare metal right there there's like 10 locations all masked off already for you you just got to remove the tape and then weld right there and it's really simple the way that um stifler sets it up so you just got to remove to start off with the whole process you just got to remove the bolts from your current seat brackets and replace them with these longer bolts um, and then the driver's side one is it's got like a little D notched into it in the metal So you already know which one's going on the driver's side So this is going to be the driver's side and then the stifler sticker sticker will face outward So that's the front that's the back and then see like this kind of angles to the back because that's how your seat mount is um, Once you get those bolts in you'll kind of just loosely bolt it up once everything is making contact with metal so once these subframe connectors are making contact with the subframe of the car on the back, on the front, everywhere, that's when you'll want to weld. You'll want to you know, put a tack on the front and on the back, and then weld your way from the front to the back. That's how they recommend it in their instructions. And then once you got it all nicely welded up, you can go ahead and tighten those bolts down, and then get some type of black, like, textured spray if you want to, like, match it up completely to this. Otherwise, just get some type of spray paint or something to help prevent rust and then you're going to want to spray up where you got your welds so it's a really easy process um, i'm going to have this done at a shop so i'm going to try to get as much of it on video as i can or whatever the shop allows me to but i'm going to try to do some of the like basics and the prep work myself before i even take it to them um, and that's only because i'm just really picky and anal about things so i'm going to replace the seat hardware right now myself and then if i can get the car up on wheel cribs i got to buy some or make some but if i can get the car up on wheel cribs I'll like partially bolt it up and mark where it's going to get welded to the car so I can pre-grind underneath the car and then I'll take it to them to do the welding and I'll probably spray it myself. Uh, we'll see, I haven't completely decided yet, but I'm going to try to get as much of it on video as I can um, so that way you know, there's something up there for you guys to see on how to do this.